Okay, uh, I think it's just about good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a good day at your horse live. Um, as Ian's had just explained, we're uh, going to have a bit of a game of polo cross. Now, polo cross is generally played outdoors on a pitch of about 100, 150 metres by 55 metres. So this is considerably smaller, but we're going to uh, give you a demonstration, give you an idea of the game. First things first, I'll start down this end and I'll work my way down and I'll explain to you the pitch. Okay. You can see two yellow poles down here. These yellow poles will probably be the pink and blue team. They'll probably be scoring down this end to start with. And you'll notice a, a bit of a make a few makeshift lines on the arena here. Uh, this this semicircle around the uh, goalpost is there uh, to score goals from behind. You can go through that area, but you cannot score goals from inside that semicircle. All right. So then we come out and let's talk about our three areas now. We've got one area down this end, one in the middle, one down the far end. This is this will be the. Uh, blue and pink team's attacking area. Only the number one and the black team's defensive player, the number three, will be allowed in this area. So it becomes a one-on-one -on -one battle, okay? Horse-on-horse -horse battle in the area. Okay, now to get across this line, the ball must be either bounced or it must be passed. There is no other way to get into that area. The centre field is where all six players will play. And this is basically a competition between the three horses and, and riders to get possession of the ball. So you'll see all of the riders trying to get the ball and take it to their attacking end. Okay, and obviously the, op the opposite happens down this end. So if the black team get the ball, you'll see their number one scoring down here with the pink and blues uh, defensive player, the number three, trying to stop them here. So that's a, a quick, uh, quick run of the, of the game and give you a bit of an idea of what's going on. As we go through, I'm going to show you some horse work involved in Polo Cross and some stick skills involved and maybe towards the end of the demonstration we might even ask some people that might be interested to come down and have a little try on foot. But as you go through I think you'll get a bit of a, a good understanding of, of the game and we'll uh, see how we go. So I think our horses are all pretty well warmed up now. We'll, we might start the first of three chuckers. I will just tell you, generally in a uh, polo cross team there are six players. Three players on and three players off the field. That is so that the horses have time to recover. We only use one horse in polo cross, so they need that time to just recover from the exertion and then they come back out again and play. So it's three on, three off. We only have, uh, in our demonstration here, you see the... We only have uh, six players here, so you'll just see the, uh, you'll have to put up with me in the, in the interior. <laughs> okay, without further ado, I'll hand you back to Ian to do some commentating, and we'll start this, start the game. Thank you, Jason, and because I failed to introduce you to one of the, one of the players on the pitch, that is of course Jason Webb, who will be our umpire for today, and he rides the Australian Stockholm Stallion Diesel. You're not normally meant to play stallions in Polo Cross, but um, unfortunately we had a horse go out lame, so Jason has been forced to use Diesel for this demonstration. So Jason Webb, who's a UK international player as well, I know he doesn't sound British, but trust me, he's been over here a long time and earned his passport. So he will be our umpire today, and he'll line the players up, which is how you start every Polo Cross match. And the ball gets thrown in straight down the middle and snapped straight up to the ground by James Robertson for the blue. So James Robertson now will try and work his way up the pitch towards that goal scoring area. He's let his little horse run, comes down to the 30-yard line where he bounces the ball and he bounces it and reclaims it. Now he's got Ivy Young right up alongside him, keeping him trapped and against those goals within the D where he can't shoot from within that D. So James Robertson comes back out into the 30-yard area and he'll try and work his way around, try and find a shot at goal past Ivy Young. Throws it low on the ground under Ivy Young's horse and through the post. So feel free to pick a side and cheer for them. I put your hands up for the Blues and for the Blacks. Choose your side and cheer. And in Polo Cross, after every goal, you start a game on the line out. You line up on the opposite side of the field, so. Line up straight. 
And Jason Webb telling them to get lined up straight. You've got to be straight and facing forwards. They'll still shoot in the same direction, but and they both go for a pick and it's left to the ground. It's Joel Six who picks it up for the Joel Six picks it up for the blacks. Can't keep hold of it, bounces back in the area, and Sarah Durney gets a chance to pick it up. Sarah Durney mops it up for the blue team, comes out of the very yard line, pops it out to James Robertson. James Robertson now in centre field, puts down the power and drives down towards the 30 yard line, towards bounces over the 30 yard line, and can we have the ball back, please? <laughs> Thank you. Um, the ball is only a soft foam rubber ball, so if it does hurt hit you, it's, it's not going to hurt as a lot. It is only made of soft foam rubber, it's not like a polo ball which is hard. So, ball goes to a black team, and a young number three flicks it out to Joel Six. Joel Six comes down to his 30 yard line, pops it over, and shoots it through the post to level another one all. And just to say, ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested to learn more about the sport, we've got a stand here on site down by the second arena, so please come down afterwards and chat to us. So, Jason Webb. Lines him up again and it bounces off the sticks and it's down on the ground through Joel Six who gets past oh, and Joel Six picks it up in midfield for Black. He flicks it out to Arlie Young. Arlie Young in space in midfield, working his way back through, looking for his number one again. Number one is the only one who can score the goals. Only one who can go miss goal scoring zone for the Blacks. And then the number three for the Blues, Sarah Durney, is the only one who can defend. So Joel Six trying to find a way from the goals, but Sarah Durney keeping forcing him into that D. Joel Six thinks about throwing out a bag, but thinks better of it. Now he finds a bit of space and rolls it from the post to make it 2-1 to the black team. So I'll line up again in midfield on Jason Webb again, and as you can see, they continue to shoot the same way. They only switch shooting directions every chapter. The ball goes in, it's snapped out of that by Ida. And Jason Webb says, Downwards hitting. So in when you're tackling pony, because you are allowed to tackle and hit balls out of their sticks, but you're only allowed to hit it in the opposite direction. What? You're not allowed to hit downwards at their stick. And John Young flicks it out the back to Joel Six with a free throw. So Joel Six to the 30 yard line, bounces, reclaims at the 30 yard line. Now again you're trying to work his way around the area, shows his stick to the center Tony. And did that get through? No, no goal. And almost claimed the casualty in the audience as well, John. So no goal, when you miss a shot of goal, you're going to free throw out, and the blue team will get a free throw out from the 30-yard line. So Sarah Denny takes a free throw to herself, doesn't get the kind as it bounces, Joel Six goes through, he's trying to mop it up, and he can't get home. Tom Beanie now mops it up for the blue team in the number two shirt. So Tom Beanie going downfield, looking for his number one in James Robertson, flicks it over James Robertson, James Robertson finds some space on the line here, and shoots it through the pace. Then making it through two. So, a line up again as we come down towards the end of his end of his first chucker. James Robertson snaps again for the blue team, spins away, doesn't want to take them all on there, rides around the back again, looking for a way in, finds a bit of space on the other side of the pitch, goes down to the very yard line, bounces, makes good use of the sideboards to pull it back in. Arlie Young lays in the woods, trying to dislodge the ball, but James Robertson holds on to it and rolls it through the post. So I think we'll just do one more line up and then that'll be the end of the first chucker. So, so one more line out and then we'll okay. So Tom Beatty snaps it down the middle of the line out. He looks for James Robertson, the number one. Tom Beatty taking some pressure off John Six. Sticks being swung but they can't dislodge the ball. The ball's loose now on the ground. Tom Beatty gets it back though, looking for James Robertson. He scored the goal. Gets his little horse moving now. Goes upfield, looking for James Robertson. Arlie Young doing a good job staying between the ball and James Robertson. But now, Tom Beanie flicks it in towards James Robertson, comes off the sticks, he's loose down in the area. James Robertson picks it up, shoots it extra and shot out of the net. Through it goes.